Hello, we are Current Energy, your solar thermal specialists. In this video, we will mount the tank to the frame, review the various fittings and components of the tank. With the frame assembled, you can now tighten the nuts and bolts by wrench. Mind you, do not over tighten lest you damage the frame. With the frame secure, you are now ready for the tank. If you have not already done so, remove the tank from its packaging. Do not move the tank by its fittings as this may damage the tank. On a flat surface, remove the bolts at the base of the tank. And holding the tank firmly, place it onto the tank supports at the top of the frame. When the tank is in place, proceed to hand thread the nuts back onto the bolts. The tank has multiple fittings, the two you see here attach to the copper coil which is inside the tank. The copper coil allows you to have pressurized potable hot water. Whenever you are adjusting any of the fittings on the tank, it is a good idea to drain the tank first in order to avoid scalding. There are two fittings on the base of the tank. One is typically fitted with a ball valve and used as a drain, while the other can be capped or used to fill the tank. The fitting on the other side of the tank, seen here, allows you to have a backup electrical element inserted into the tank. On the top of the tank is a fitting which can be used for venting and filling the tank. An assisted tank may also be threaded to this fitting to ensure the tank is always full and never overpressurized. Here you can see how the tank attaches to the tank supports, allowing the angle of the tank to be adjusted to square up the system. The tank is comprised of three parts, the inner tank, which will hold the liquid, an insulation layer, and the outer casing. Looking inside the tank, we can see the gaskets and the copper coil.